Namaste, trippers. This week is going to be fucking awesome. We're going to be talking about chi, prana, huak, panuma, spirit, the life force of your body or the energy that you're actually feeling flowing, pulsating through the avatar every single moment on this planet. It is what is animating or bringing life to your body. And we're going to talk about seven very specific, seven or eight different things that directly impact the amount of flow or chi that you're experiencing in your body, the amount of energy. So if you're tired of sluggish days of having to take naps or uh, having to get your, your caffeine fix, your coffee fix, you know, or if you're if you're just wanting to experience, you know, a higher degree of consciousness, we're going to be talking about things that are going to directly impact that, things that you can do to directly impact that. Today we're going to be talking about nutrition, specifically my nutrition journey and how nutrition directly impacts the way that you function. So if you're wanting to explore and dive deeper into your physical anatomy, into your physical possibilities, like take the cap off of what we think is humanly possible and begin to explore feeling better, uh, living longer, um, better performance, then I strongly encourage you to check out this video. So I've been, like I said, I've been, uh, man, for those of you that know me, I've been super athletic since the day I was born. For those of you that don't know me, I've been super athletic since the day I was born. Very athletic, constantly moving, always doing things. And as a result of that athleticism, I uh, obviously took to nutrition, wanting to uh, perform to the greatest, the best degree possible. And uh, this... Oftentimes, especially at the beginning of my nutrition journey, it looked like the typical American diet. Lots of meat, you know, your four courses, lots of meat, some vegetables, um, you know, your dairy products and starches and, uh, you know, your carbohydrate. And I, I just ate like any other red-blooded American would eat, you know, pizzas and steaks. And when I was moved out, I was about 17 years old, I was eating three, four, even sometimes $500 a month of just like steak and chicken, trying to pack my body with proteins so I could be ripped, you know. And um, man, I was trying everything to put on mass, to get ripped and to put on mass. And um, I did, I always thought I felt good. And if you'd asked me, at any point when I was living as a carnivore, I thought, I feel good. And I would over, during my carnivore years, there was lots of times where I would actually fast six months out of the year. Not six months straight, but a total of about six months out of the year, I would fast. And I was doing a lot of that for spiritual reasons. I always noticed that whenever I was fasting, it seemed like my mind was more clear and at times I might have felt drowsy or drained, but there were also times where I felt super energized. And I never really studied or researched it. You know, we didn't have fucking Google back then and all the internet the way that we have it now. So I never really did a lot of research on it or study on it. I just kind of was doing my own personal research on my own body. But one thing I did notice is that my physical body and mind were way open to spiritual things. It was, in other words, my perceptional abilities seem to have expanded during that time and um, so I always notice that and that's one of the main reasons why I really enjoy fasting now that that plays a direct role in our nutrition and so let's fast forward fast forward a bit I'm talking to some vegans and I'm like no nah, I could never be a vegan and they're like well Silas don't you think you feel feel better if you eat a vegan diet and I was like man I feel great now jump forward about another six months, I'm doing research, I'm studying, I'm looking at vegan, I'm looking at living foods. And I'm realizing that up until this point in my life, I don't even know what year that was, but I had been eating dead or killed or cooked foods that had been, all the nutrition had been just basically zapped out of them. 
and I'm basically eating dead flesh, things that have already died. And I wanted to start taking a living substance and allowing it to be um, transmuted into my body. My, this body is taking a living food and that living food's moving from life to life. It's transmuting and becoming one with my body. And I thought, man, there's not really something cool about taking something living and it becomes one instead of taking a dead piece of flesh and it becoming one. And the more that I researched, I said, well, you know, it's worth a shot. Let's see how I feel. And I said, but I could never do the vegan thing. So let's start with pescatarian. So I started just eating fish and lots of vegetables, and I moved away from the meat, the, the red meat. And I did. I noticed a substantial change. That I felt better when I was eating fish. I felt my, my, uh, my shits were better in the morning, you know. My... Um, Overall, I felt healthier. I wasn't struggling in the gym to perform. I wasn't struggling in the bedroom to perform. I wasn't struggling at all. Matter of fact, I feel like my performance had rose. And so here I was, and I'm like, well, shit, that's awesome. And I uh, did some more research and was playing around with some more things. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I want to go completely vegetarian. Because I began to realize that the amount of protein that the experts tell you that you need to gain muscle is grossly overestimated. Grossly overestimated. And so as a result of that, I cut out all meat, went completely vegetarian, and I was still doing dairy. And then again, later on, I was having lots of joint pain, so I was lifting. Picture this, here I am, vegetarian, in the gym. I'm bench pressing over 400 pounds at that time. I have no idea what I bench press now, so you can ask me in the comments below, but I'm not gonna be able to tell you because I haven't bench pressed in a long time. Um, I don't bench press or do heavy lifts anymore like that. But um, my, my whole thing now is longevity and flexibility and agility and all that shit. But I, I, uh, I was bench pressing over 400 pounds in the gym, but my joint, you know, I was curling. I had over 18 inch arms. My thighs were actually th almost 32 inches wide each thigh. They were almost as big as my waist because my waist was only 33 inches. And um, I, anyway, I'm having, I'm experiencing like like really powerful muscular lifts. I was uh, squatting over 500 pounds. I was leg pressing over 1,500 pounds. And this was, you know, strong. I felt strong for a five foot ten, two hundred, and at that time, fifteen pound male. I felt really strong, but my joints were killing me. I mean, they were fucking killing me. And so I was like, "Well, let's do some more research," and begin to discover that they have uh, proven, they've shown that dairy products cause inflammation in your cells, in your body, and that that inflammation can even lead to cancer. And so I said, well, shit, if dairy can cause inflammation in my body, let me cut it out, see if it'll help with the inflammation that I'm having in my elbows and my knees and my joints. And I cut dairy out of my diet. Even though I know years ago I said I never would, I cut it out of my diet, and you know what? I'm gonna tell you right now, within seven days, that's right, seven days of cutting dairy out of my diet. I had all the inflammation was completely gone from my diet, from my body. All the inflammation, the joint pain that I was experiencing in my body. If you're struggling with arthritic conditions, there's two things I'm gonna encourage you in. Intermittent fasting and even elongated fasting as well as a vegan diet. When you cut out dairy from your diet, you're removing the, the, the dairy creates inflammation and you're removing inflammation. I have helped many people so far just by cutting dairy out of their diet. Now I know it's hard. I like cheese. Cheese tastes wonderful. That's the hard part for me. Every every blue moon I'll eat some meat or I'll eat some dairy and that sort of thing, but it's my body hates it now. And let me tell you how I feel now. I feel fucking awesome. And in comparison to how I felt when I was eating meat or even when I was eating just like a vegetarian with, with dairy, I feel so much more uh, alive, so much better. I hardly ever need naps. I now do intermittent fasting along with a vegan diet. Now, intermittent fasting is you want to take a 14 
to 16, you can do 12 to 16, 12 to 18 even, hour window where you're not eating. So you're only eating for somewhere between four and eight hours a day. Now I know the American diet says we're supposed to eat three to four, every three to four hours, yada, yada, yada. But what you're doing is you're never giving your gut time to rest. You're never giving your, t your body time to detox. When you do intermittent fasting, literally every single day, your body goes into a detox mode. If you wait at least 14, 16 hours. Now, if you wait 18 hours, you're going to get even more benefit, but your body goes into a detox. You're releasing all kinds of, uh, you're actually beginning to right there at the very tail end of that, beginning to release human growth hormone, your insulin suppression. There's so many things that are happening in your body. So if you've been struggling with diabetes, intermittent fasting, I'm telling you right now, you can change your diet and change your life. And there are so many things American, if I look around and, and there's so many unhealthy Americans and unhealthy people around the world. I've traveled all over the world and there are a lot of unhealthy people. And the way that we can fix these things is very simple. We fix them through nutrition. Now, forget all that stuff. What does nutrition do energetically? You are not only feeling the energy, the physical energy, you'll not only feel that to a greater degree, like that physical burst of energy where you don't feel like taking it, you don't feel, you don't need the nap and you don't necessarily need all the caffeine to drive you anymore and that sort of thing. But you'll also begin to feel a deeper sense of energy. This is your truest, like that, that energy is coming up. So the nutrition, when you eat living foods, is not blocking all, your body's not spending all that time aggressively trying to uh, digest and incorporate these foods that were not meant for it. And now what's happening is your body is effortlessly and naturally flowing. And so now it's, there's not all these blockages of energy. And so your, the energy in, your, in this body is flowing in a circular way through your body. In and out, in and out. And you will feel light. You will feel healthy. You, I never feel bloated or weighed down. I don't feel heavy anymore. I feel light and it is effortless and it feels oh so good. So I want to encourage you to begin to shift your nutrition. When you shift your nutrition, you will shift the way that you're experiencing energy and the way that you're experiencing your body. And if you've never tried it, I guarantee, I guarantee you that you will feel better letting go of meat and dairy and moving to just living foods. And uh, I know you'll feel good. I know I feel good. So this whole week, check out tomorrow's video, 4.20 p.m. every Eastern, every single day. Check out our videos this week as we're going to be talking about different things that you can begin to do to begin to not only activate and awaken the avatar to the energy that's in it, to fully awaken the energy that's in your body, the chi that's in your body. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the next video. I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play.